Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. Now we're going to continue on with the Oak, <coughs> Oak Island mystery and show these cowboys exactly what you can find if you actually use the right technologies before going to gun ho digging randomly and hoping for the best so here is oak island and this island is insignificant in comparison to what i'm about to show you and the further discoveries which i have found which absolutely proves that you should reconsider how many people were once walking on this created earth and what happened to these people during history so this is a very 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 important lesson to understand about nature there are no straight lines in nature and so without you really looking closely at this picture you'll begin to see a great deal of detail over here this is evidence of ancient culture that is not been discovered because if it had it would rewrite Canadian history forever because this site and the site that I found I'm not saying exactly where but in Canada um, is enormous it is huge it would take uh, literally people's li lifetimes to dig there archaeologically to discover everything which is why you need to use satellite imagery non-invasive methods to pinpoint exactly where you want to dig which is why these cowboys on Curse of Oak Island are not going to get anywhere so let's actually get down to the island and we'll see that yeah this island has history alright it has history with Freemasons, Templars, and the whole point of them even being there is to prove that the, they, the Templars, and the Freemasons created the 13 colonies of America. Now, I will take screenshots and I will take, show you clips from the Curse of Oak Island. I won't play the whole series, obviously, like I'm trying to do with others. Um, and how they use truth and lies. I will just show you particular clips and information that relate to what I'm trying to say now and how they have not not thought on a much much larger scale about what is really really there to be found. So this island has history. It has a lot of Templar pirate Freemason history and these people through time have had a massive 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 quest to find ancient relics just like the Nazis just like the Catholic Church but unfortunately they always always seems to be on now I've noticed or recollect worked out that the things on the television there's always always an old, another reason for them to be there and that the reason why they're there and all this televised stuff is just to distract you while they're there to do something else um, and so are they actually going to realize that they're actually trying to find ancient culture and the golden age and stuff like that or Templar history I think they're trying to find Templar history, but confusing time here, and because the things are found at, so, uh, at a very, very, very deep level, this involves the Biblical Flood and the rebuilding of civilization after it. And so these things over here are covered remains of cities and walls and, and if you look carefully over here 
you'll see, oh by the way this is a false composite um, picture, screenshot from the Sentinel-2 NDVI maps at location. So you'll see that this lake, which looks like a dragon, could you not? Go, let's have a look, you wanna see the dragon? There it is. Goes there into this square building and if you look carefully you'll see buildings within buildings right here and walls structures more walls and this here this pathway in other images and I'm going to show you in a minute is a different colour because this road this isn't road and these are modern houses people living on these on this air on the harbour on the edge but up here there are still people living there's a few little areas of population there but generally speaking this pathway goes to places which don't actually lead to uh, put it this way it leads to places ever ancient sites so if you really want to discover something that is the best way to do it is to be patient with imagery and to find a trackway and then to use various applications and follow it now this one area is very very evident of ancient cultures once being here in fact they found Roman concrete now because time they've lied about ancient history and about technology concrete is actually used by both the say the golden civilization so the elite the creator civilization so a lot of the pyramids a lot of them are actually made of concrete um, better concrete than we could ever we ever made today um, and unfortunately that that goes be they know this so they built their bunkers with, you know, extremely Roman concrete, ancient, you know, mortar that's very, very strong. And but they build our houses with, with basically piss, you know. So that any type of catastrophic event happens, it's easy for it to be knocked down, you know. While they keep their buildings, why do you wonder why in the in the, in the, in the scenario? You've seen it, how churches remain standing, but everything else goes flooding. You know, the whole town could get flooded, but the church will stay, but nothing else, nothing else remains. And you got a question, well, that's because it's made of better materials than what we have been given. You know, they, they've been using the ancient knowledge of concrete to do what they, to do, to build their things. You know, but in the ancient past, the this knowledge was used by the good people to build all the ancient structures around the world, and so this is literally a complex piece of about time, because unfortunately there's a beginning and the end, and this has to do with you know the, the biblical narr narrative and the Sumerian literature so the great cycle of 3600 years and how that fits into the circle of 360 degrees and we have you know the pantheon of 12 gods and astronomy of time and how basically because we don't believe in the mechanisms of creation no more we don't actually realize what time we live in, in. even though revelations coming true and so is prophecy because they're the ones fulfilling it and we have warned ourselves in the in the past because this involves the pineal gland this involves ancient knowledge this involves the halos which is why we can't see them and however ascension is taking place right now and when you start learning the truth about everything and how it's a lie and about ancient cultures and about you know there's two sides to reality 
and how knowledge is used by both sides in good or a bad way and how we live in a time where knowledge is being used in a most definitely evil, corrupt, vile way against every living thing on this planet. And so you must see that this reality is dualistic and, and try and read between the lines a lot more when you when you see stuff on the television when you it, it's difficult i know so this is basically the first photograph now this is the second one just as it looks and i, I changed it because it's quite dark so it looks a bit brighter <clears throat> and as you can see this path is very white compared to this one here so this one's very faded and this one's very white meaning it's being used more and so it's quite interesting the the mixture between how ancient cultures that are there now but uh, well once there now and our cultures have sort of used similar pathways and used those things like the Roman roads and and how this goes back to a different time period in, in geological time, you know? Because they've lied about history as well. So the Romans were actually in the time of the giants, is what I'm saying, which is why you see in, you know, in Lord of the Rings and like the, the eye, all seeing eye, come on. Um, the giants, giants and everything, giants, giants, giants. So you see in this image, which is an end of the eye image, clear as day there's a connection to this lake to this building and so this is more than likely some kind of palace you know there is absolutely unsurmountable things to find out there and this is just a small example of why i need um personal investment in what i have discovered um i already have a lidar company but I don't have the money to actually buy a LiDAR drone yet. And so I really need people to invest in me and to know that I will find them valuables if they were to give me the money to fulfill my passion for discoveries. And well, if you, if you are one of those people, please message me because I won't steer you wrong, I'll find you treasure. I'm not doing this for money or wealth. I'm doing this for passion and I'm doing this for discovery. However, you need money in this world to do both, to do your passion, which particularly in my case goes against everything that is involved in the narrative to prove to you that they have lied to you so that you understand more about the ancient past and how it's repeating itself right now how Babylon is on the rise and if we do not wake up and see how history is repeating itself um, the same things are going to happen well they are already happening the winter sunset I filmed the fake ass sun and this is unfortunately where you got to wake up and go wow I am created I have a soul this world is not what I thought it to be and this, this earth is created absolutely worth fucking fighting for we are the gardeners of Eden, and we have we have neglected our our duties because they have brainwashed us into a false reality. Do you see how the road looks different in this in this? Um... Oh, I forgot the image. What's it's called? You see the pathways blue, and this one's like. Red, uh, yellow and red. You see over here the old island. Clear as day. Perfect drawing all up. There's no doubt that the Freemasons have been here. You know, I showed you the flood zone and the other one. You know, and there's definitely some cut something in the lake. However, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in this area over here. I want to know what this is why it's connected to this lake. I want to know why the lake is kind of shaped like a dragon. Oh, questions, questions. 
So, thank you very much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe.